Hey my dear learners welcome to skillfident with your mentor namita how are you all doing let me know in the comment section how is your english practice going on well recently i have been coming across a lot of comments from you asking me which skill shall we really work on to improve our fluency in english now most of you have been talking about these two skills ma'am please tell us whether we should go with working on our listening or we should focus more on reading so this video is going to be all about which one is better listening to more of english or reading more of english so if you want to know my answer an absolute answer which is going to make you very very fluent in english then stay with me for the next few minutes in this video all right so here is a war between listening and reading today first of all let's try to understand how these two different skills actually work let's talk about listening first now for listening you mostly rely on youtube you're not actually listening to podcasts i know that most of you are only relying on youtube videos so you are listening to other people speak isn't it tell me if this is not true let me know if you are using other sources for listening because if you are listening to audiobooks if you are listening to podcasts then nothing like it but i know that 90% of you are listening to these kind of youtube videos now who are these people you are listening to you are listening to most of the times those english learners who are practicing english themselves so you are listening to people who have the same level as you have if you are a beginner you are most likely listening to beginners only if you are at an intermediate level you are listening to somebody who is at an intermediate level in fact it is a very sad reality that many of you who are at intermediate level are also listening to beginners so what is the quality of the content that you are listening to it matters a lot are you listening to shashi tharoor are you listening to people who have a lot better english than yours are you listening to real teachers over here who speak good english who don't have a mother tongue influence no you are listening to people just because you get motivated by listening to them listening is the easiest skill to consume and after listening to somebody you get this feeling that i have practiced for the day okay because i listened to 10 learners today speaking and telling me the same thing because here on youtube everybody is telling you the same thing isn't it every other learner comes and tell you how to think in english guys give yourself topics and situations now you listen to the repetitive things from different people the same things from different people how good is it what you are avoiding in listening is you're not listening to your own self you love listening to other people because you want everything ready you want everything to be served in your plate it is very easy it is very simple while listening to your own self is very hard if you are listening to the right people if you are listening to good speakers then definitely you'll be able to level up your speaking skills and those who have already done it were listening to better people they were probably listening to sadguru they were listening to other good good speakers who come out with nice content in english but many of you are listening to basic average speakers who are not speaking good english who are not grammatically correct with their sentences their pronunciation is pathetic so it is not going to take you anywhere if you have to listen then you should start listening to yourself more yes because listening is all about things getting into your ears and reaching your mind so when you are just dependent on listening your one of your senses is at work which is your hearing so you are able to retain only 20% you'll remember a few sentences which the other person has spoken or maybe you'll be able to recall a few words little bit of vocabulary nothing more than that that is how listening works you retain only 20% because only one sense organ is at work your ears correct but when you listen to yourself speaking 
then your mind will be active and here is where the role of reading comes in between when you read you get to listen to your own self speaking and the best part is that you're getting to listen to correct english if you're reading books if you're reading articles if you're reading passages if you're reading stories from the right sources then you are getting to listen to correct english but it requires work and who wants to invest so much of effort into learning english we want the easy thing we would just listen to other people speaking now these people might become fluent later on by speaking regularly here uh, for creating videos but what about you you would not reach that level because you're already at their level if you want to level up if you truly want to be fluent then start reading why i will give you a wonderful answer for this one also in reading it is not just one of your senses which is at work when you are reading your mouth because if you have been following me from quite some time you know that i tell you to read aloud read out loud read every sentence loudly listen to yourself speaking and when you do that your mouth is at work your ears are at work because they are listening to you and your mind is very much active because it is actively involved in looking at the words the sentences the whole passage so you are fully active it is a, it is an active process while listening is a very passive one and it is a simple one reading requires efforts and a lot of hard work from your side read anything that is available though i always say that read something which you are interested in but if not then grab a newspaper a story book whatever comes handy just start reading it so that all your senses are active at the single time if you continuously read for a month just a month you will be very very fluent in english because reading will work on your grammar also if you are reading something which is mostly uh, most likely a story or a past incident you will be able to work on your past tense you'll learn a lot of new vocabulary you learn a lot of different expressions you'll work on your conversations because when you read dialogues if you read novels and those kind of things there are dialogues so your grammatical construction is taken care of your vocabulary building is happening also your pronunciation is getting improved because when you look at spellings of anything you don't make mistakes if you say confidence then while reading you'll realize it's confidence because there is an f that is not a ph it is not confidence while listening you pick up words like confidence you pick up words like motivation you will not do the same mistake when you are reading so reading will take care of your pronunciation reading will take care of your vocabulary your grammar your speech everything in listening there are more chances that you will pick up the same mistakes which the learner is making especially when you are not listening to good speakers if you are listening to average below average speakers you'll pick up their mistake if they are saying that i'm here to be practice my english you will also pick up the same thing you'll make the same pronunciation errors the same grammatical errors that they are making so the bottom line is that you have to invest in reading more than listening the first thing that you need to do is read every day for half an hour not less than that force yourself to sit and read and while reading read it aloud so that all your senses are at work you're active do it for one month and then listen to good speakers the people who are speaking without a strong mother tongue influence the people are using who are using good quality vocabulary and who are speaking grammatically correct sentences you know the difference between good speakers average speakers and absolutely below average speakers you know it it is just that you are not willing to come out of your comfort zone there is a strange comfort with those beginner level people and you don't want to leave it leave your comfort zone come out of it start reading and listen only to good speakers the people who impress you who inspire you 
all right so that was the bottom line i hope you've got your answer and those who were asking this question to me please comment down below and let me know if your query has been answered keep asking me questions i'll create videos based on your queries and i'll see you in my next video very very soon take care of yourself bye bye for now